So as you've been watching these videos, you might have asked yourself, well, how am I coming up with some of these numbers so fast? And what do I actually do? What's the magic behind um, coming up with the numbers fast for using a graphing calculator? Well, I'm, I am actually cheating and, and using the graphing calculator as it is used for a graphing calculator and graphing with it. So let me show you how we can put in an equation that would be a, um, let's, let's do a cubic one. So on my graphing calculator, you have right here a button that allows you to enter in your equations. It looks like a Y equals, so I push that button, and it lets me enter in a whole bunch of different um, equations. So the first one I'm going to enter in here is going to be X cubed, so I push the X button, which has X, T, theta, and N, and it shows up with an X on the screen. And then I'm going to cube it, so I've got to put the up arrow, the little caret here, and then I come down and push 3. And so I get X caret 3, and that means X cubed. And then I put a minus sign, and I must use the minus sign. Note on the graphing calculator there is a negative, and there is a minus sign, and they are two different things. So whenever I say minus, I mean minus, and when I say negative, I mean this little button down here. So I put in my minus sign. And then the next one I'm going to put in is 3x squared, so I'm going to push a 3. And then I'm going to put in my x. And then you actually have a button over here that allows you to square it rather than doing the caret 2. So I'm going to use that one because it's faster. And then I'm going to add 4 to the end, so plus 4. So now I've got x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4 as my function. And I can go ahead and push the graph button over here. And whenever I push the graph button, it will graph that function and show me it does in fact have, um, it's odd, so the end point, or the ends are going in opposite directions. And it is going positive towards the right because my leading coefficient was a positive. So how can I use this calculator to come up with exact points um, and find the relative maximum minimums and find the zeros? Well, the way I've been doing it, if I wanted to find the value when x was, say, negative 3, if I push my second button and I come over to calculate, which is trace here, the very first option on my screen is value. So if I go to enter, it then asks me, what is my x value I want to look at? And I put in my negative. Again, that is going to be the negative sign. And let's say negative 2. And on the screen, you'll see the negative 2. And when I press enter, it's going to come back with, well, at negative 2, this is going to be at negative 16. And then I can do that again. So second, and calculate, and value. And say I put in a negative 1. When I press enter, it tells me that that value is going to be 0. And then you can see the flashing cursor is right there, in effect, at negative 1 and y is 0. And then you can you can actually trace this around. There's a trace feature. It lets you move that around. Or I can press trace, and it actually moves along my line. So this trace button here puts the cursor on my line. And then my arrows just let me arrow back and forth on that, giving me different values. And you notice at the bottom, it changes your x and y values, depending on where the cursor is on your graph. And notice in the upper right hand corner, upper left hand corner, sorry, it actually gives the equation that you are playing with. So you could actually use this calculator then to find the maximum and minimums. So if I wanted to do that, I go again to second and up to calculate. And when I come down there, I see my maximum, my minimum. So let's find the maximum first. My maximum is the fourth option. So I can arrow down to the four, or I can just press four. And it's going to come up and walk you through this. It says, what is the left bound? Well, that means you want to be on the left side of the maximum you're looking for. So I press Enter. And then it says, what is the right bound? So I'm going to arrow over and make sure I'm on the right side of my maximum there. And press Enter. And then it says, guess. And it comes back with, my maximum is at x equals 1. Nope. At 1 times e to the, so that's scientific notation, basically. Um, so x is basically 0 here. My y is 4. So I've got the point 0, 4 is a relative maximum. I can then do the same thing and find my minimum. So I go second, calculate. And I come down to minimum, which is option 3. Again, it's going to ask me for my left bound. So I'm going to arrow over to my left side of that. I'm going to press enter. And then it's going to say, what's my right bound? I'm going to go arrow to the other side of my minimum. Oops, not too far. 
And I'm going to press enter again. And it's going to say take a guess. And my guess, you know, it's going to be somewhere down in there. And I press enter and it comes back with basically I am at 2 and 0. Um, again, that's scientific notation. 3.5 times 10 to the negative 12th is basically 0. It's so tiny. And 1.999999 is basically a 2. So I'm basically, my minimum's at 2, 0. Then you can find your zeros. Again, if I go to second, calculate, and I want to find my zero, zero is option two. It's going to ask for me for my left bound of my zero. So if I go to the left side of my first zero, I want my cursor there on the left side of it, press enter, and then I want to be on the right side of my first zero, so I'm up in there, and I take a guess, and it says that my zero is at negative one zero. And I can do that again and find my other zero, so second, calculate. Again, I want to find my zero. I want to be on the left side of it, so I want to go to the next one. And then I want to be on the right side of it. And I press enter, and I take my guess. And it comes back with it being, again, 2, 0. It's 2.000006, but it's basically the point two zero. So that's how I found my maximum and minimum. That's how I can find my zeros. And that's how I can find a specific function or value of my function very quickly using the graphing calculator.